Working on my 1998 4.3 liter GM Vortec engine. Just did the in upper intake or the lower intake manifold, I should say. And I put everything back together and I get a misfire, right? What the heck? I think I maybe did something wrong or stabbed the distributor wrong, but I double checked that, double checked my wiring, right? So if you get a misfire after doing the lower intake manifold gaskets, double check that you put the distributor in correctly, which is back there, so you can't see it because of the Vortec back there. Make sure all your spark plug wires are in line. I had to take out one of my spark plugs, make sure it wasn't cracked because I'm only getting a misfire number three. Then I did a compression test just right now and I'm getting a reading of 160, 160-ish. And a GM engine on the 5.7s or the 4.3s, a good compression reading is anywhere from 150 to 180. So I know that's good. The only thing left that it could be is the silly spider injection system that GM called fuel injectors. I'll put a picture of it up right now. But I think what happened is I had the intake out. You know, this took me a couple weeks to do. There's some other stuff I wanted to replace. Hoses and got uh, new bolts and took time for the, for the right stuff. Uh, 90 minutes to dry. So I just took my time on this. It wasn't a rush. And I, what I think what happened is as the intake was sitting on the bench, all the gasoline leaked out of it, leaked all over me, and I think the gasoline was keeping that fuel injector clean, and when it dried up, it just clogged itself up, is what I think happened. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to drive this thing around, um, put a load on it, see if I can blow that out. If not, then I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and end up replacing the whole spider injection system in the upper intake manifold will have to come out. Ugh. Don't really want to do that, but there's only, uh, I'm sure this has 100,000 miles on it, if not close to that. But there you go, guys. Short, sweet, and to the point. If you get a misfire after doing the lower intake manifold, make sure you stab the distributor right. Make sure your wires are on correctly. And then um, do a compression test. And mine turned out well. And then you can... Uh, Oh, also determine that you have a uh, spark there on the spark plug wire going to the going to the spark plug, which I did. I just pulled it off while it was running and heard tick 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 tick, so I know it's firing good and strong. Just don't don't shock yourself. I said I was going to drive the uh, truck around and uh, try to blow out the uh, in the uh, fuel injector, but I can't cuz I have a flashing check engine light and what that means is there is a uh, major misfire, a misfire that can damage the catalytic converter. Which means that fuel, raw fuel, is getting past, um, is not getting burned in the cylinder correctly and going right into the exhaust and raw fuel will damage your catalytic converter faster than anything else. So I can't drive this thing around because um, I don't want to damage, I don't want to damage the catalytic converter on this truck. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to order a new spider uh, fuel injector assembly. And install that I'm pretty sure that number three uh, injector is stuck open and causing this issue 90% of the time on more modern cars this this truck actually just has one coil ignition coil that controls everything but on the newer cars where the ignition coil actually sits on top of the spark plugs typically 90% of the time uh, that ignition coil has gone bad so it's either it's either most likely your ignition coil, your spark plug, or your fuel injector. You spring raw fuel into the cylinder.